take out the trash. I have my huge interview for Comic Strip Quarterly magazine tomorrow morning, and I want to look my best. That suit still looks great. Oh, I haven't worn it since our wedding. <laughs> you were right. I did have those rings. <laughs> Honey, this article could launch my career to a whole new level, and I've decided I want the whole family to be in the photo they're shooting for the cover. Really? That's sweet. Well, you're all a big part of the comic, and I want the world to see you as you really are. Well, not as you are right now. You tend to get those puffy eyes in the morning. <laughs> those puffy eyes that I fell in love with. Where do you think you're going? I need you here tomorrow for the photo shoot, not backpacking across Europe. I'll just be in the backyard. I'm doing a project on the difference between daytime and nocturnal insect behavior. Didn't I tell you? Lori and I are having a camp out tonight. How fun is that? Fun is not on the agenda. <laughs> this is a serious science project, not girls' night out. But if a manicure is given and a few s'mores are consumed, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Larry, come in here for a minute. I want to get your opinion on something. Sure, that's a terrible haircut. <laughs> I'm talking about my new comic strip. Do you think it's funny? If it's half as funny as your haircut, you've got a winner on your hands. <laughs> Just read the comic. No rush, take your time. I'll get ready for the inevitable high five. <laughs> it's funny. Well, you're not laughing. I'm laughing on the inside. At the comic or my haircut? <laughs> haircut. <laughs> this is being published alongside my magazine profile. I need it to be at least as brilliant as Vance Patterson's comic strip was in last month's issue. Otherwise, I'll be seen as a failure. A devastatingly handsome failure. Vance Patterson? The Mortimer the Cat guy? Yeah. Here. Read his comic yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Well, at least it's not as funny as my haircut. Your haircut wishes. Vance is a genius. How do I follow a guy who's managed to work satire, clever wordplay, a poop joke, and an anti-war message into a single panel? There was a poop joke? Oh, there it is. Hail, Quest Brother. The dragon flies from the east by night and slumbers in the west by day. Good. You remembered our secret code phrase. Code phrase? I thought we were having a casual conversation about dragons. I come bearing ill tidings. Our quest master just canceled on tonight's Crips and Labyrinth session. But I booked us the games room for the entire night. Oh, it was gonna be epic. These are indeed dark times. But let us remember fondly our fallen leader. Kyle's dead? Worse, he got a girlfriend. Hey, dupe. Hey, Ronnie. What's going on? We were actually about to cancel our all-night game of Crips and Labyrinths. Why? Because our quest master decided that his new girlfriend is more important than playing a dice game with four sweaty guys in a community center basement. <laughs> That's inconceivable. If you're in the market for a new quest master, I'm your guy. <laughs> Please. The quest master needs to be well-versed in every spell book, weapons guide, and creature compendium, right down to the smallest detail. Do you know the exact number of hit points needed to destroy a level six fire orc? Yes? I guess we'll see you at eight. What's this? Marshmallows, chocolate, and graham crackers? <laughs> Throw in some sweatpants and you've officially given up. What? No, they're for making s'mores. Lori and I are camping tonight in the yard. I'm so sorry. Did your house burn down? No, Lori has to work on a school project, so we're having girls' night out under the stars. So you're choosing to live like dirty animals? <laughs> and here I was, just about to invite you. I literally cannot think of a worse way to spend the night. <laughs> Mom, can I please stay here and play an all-night game of Crips and Labyrinths with a bunch of guys in the basement? Your thing is still worse. Your dad needs us all at home tomorrow for an important photo shoot. I'm not sure staying up all night is such a great idea. Please, Mom, this is my big chance to get into a very exclusive club, and they want me to be their quest master. No doubt because of my extensive knowledge of the game. What's a quest master? Beats me. My extensive knowledge of the game doesn't run that deep. Will there be a responsible adult with you? Dupe is playing. 
Okay. And will there be a responsible adult with you? <laughs> Everything okay, Dad? I heard you yell. Oh, I'm fine. That was my patented, I just had a brilliant idea yell. Oh, right. Like when you had that idea to put Lori's fire ants in your hat to try and keep your head warm. Why do they call them fire ants if they don't provide heat? They should be called grumpy biter ants. So what did you come up with this time? Only the perfect comic strip idea. Oh, it's so perfect it will have Vance Patterson spinning in his grave. Wait, Vance Patterson is dead? He created the perfect comic strip and then bit the dust before the ink was even dry. Oh, classic Vance. <laughs> oh. Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, what happened? Mm. My hand just cramped up. I guess I overdid it on the drawing board. I need to ice it down. Do you know if Lori has any ice ants? What about regular ice? That could work too. Right hand's out of the game, but I've still got good old lefty. Who are you kidding, Lefty? You're a fraud and you know it. Maybe you're just overthinking it. Here, close your eyes and just let it flow. I think it's working. It's not. Don't worry, Dad. There will be other career-changing profiles. I don't want other career-changing profiles. I don't want this one. Hey, that's a nice hand you got there. Smooth, supple, uncalloused. That's the hand of an artist. <laughs> Quick, draw something. A perfect circle. It takes years for most artists to learn how to do that. I was trying to draw a fire engine. Oh, okay, so you're still a bit raw, no problem. I'll teach you my craft, and then you can draw my comic strip. That sounds like a lot of work. I kind of just want to go to bed. And you have the discipline of an artist, too. So, how does this thing work? Insects enter through here, and then collect in this area, where I can then study and record their behavior. Won't they just bang into the glass trying to get out? You mean like Dad at the patio door? No, they're smarter than that. Well, now that you're all set up, why don't we go have some fun? You don't think this is fun? Of course I do. I just mean fun in the sense of having a good time. You know, like singing campfire songs or telling scary stories. Oh, I've got a good one. Did you know that Japanese giant hornets can spray venom directly into your eyes, dissolving the tissue and leaving only empty eye sockets? Like I said, let's sing campfire songs. Sure. Are you familiar with the ballad of the Japanese giant hornet? It's easy to pick up. The chorus is mostly just screaming. Oh, good. You still use basic human language. I was worried you would have regressed to a primitive state by now. You invited Pam? I'm not sure invited is the right word. What are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? I mean, the thought of you two out here alone, braving the wilderness, living like Neanderthals. I just had to come watch. <laughs> Sorry, but we only have room in our tent for two. Oh, that won't be a problem. <laughs> a little in the comfort department, but I guess that's why they call it roughing it. <laughs> Looks like our new quest master is a no-show. Unless he was captured and eaten by a berserker wolf beetle on the way. <laughs> <laughs> I kid, of course. As we all know, the berserker wolf beetle is strictly vegetarian. <laughs> that's what makes it so funny. You took an everyday observation and turned it completely on its head. <laughs> Hey, everyone. Sorry I'm late. I was just preparing for tonight's quest. Where's all your equipment? My what now? <laughs> your maps and manuals and stuff? You can't run a campaign without them. Oh, I have all that stuff right here. Oh, what about dice? You can't play the game unless you have a giant pouch full of dice. 
I have all the dice I need. Right here. <laughs> okay, let's start. Who goes first? It's not really a turn-based game. You're supposed to lead the adventure. <laughs> well, obviously. I meant who wants to go to the bathroom first. You do not want to get caught doing the pee-pee dance in the middle of an orc battle. <laughs> that would never happen. Uh, don't be so sure. It's happened to me multiple times. <laughs> Dwarven clerics are notorious for their weak bladders. <laughs> That's it. Nice, fluid hand motions. And don't rush. Otherwise, you won't get that smooth, sharp quality you want. When do we get to the actual drawing? When the time is right. And that's lesson number one. You can't rush art. Isn't this due first thing in the morning? Which brings me to lesson number two. Always ignore lesson number one. <laughs> Let's begin. Now, in cartooning, almost everything we draw begins with a series of circles. Go ahead, give it a try. How's that? New plan. Uh, draw a fire engine. <laughs> like I was saying, in cartooning, almost everything we draw starts with a series of fire engines. <laughs> now, just add a tail, and we're done. <laughs> and that is how you draw a simple cartoon cow the first step on your long journey to becoming a cartoonist. And it only took four hours. <laughs> four hours? Seriously? Uh, congratulations, you passed the course. You are now a professional cartoonist. <laughs> wow, that was super easy. No wonder you picked this as a career. I should be offended, but you're not wrong. I don't understand this. We've been out here for hours and I haven't seen a single insect. I think Pam's tent squashed them all. <laughs> Care to join me for a smoothie? You have a blender in there? <laughs> yes, but I have to unplug the bar fridge when I use it so I don't short out the generator. I guess that's why they call it roughing it. Look, I found a spotted orb weaver. Really? Show me. The interesting thing about this species is the way they... <laughs> Just killing that disgusting spider that was in the way of whatever it was you were showing me. I was showing you the spider. Oh. Why would I want to see a dead spider? Look, it's moving. I think it was only stunned. Any other creepy crawlies looking to ruin our night? No? That's what I thought. Sometimes you have to send a message. Okay, you all find yourself in a room. Go on. Oh, you need more? Uh, there's a big table in the room, and also an enchanted couch, an ancient arcade game, and a bunch of magical concert posters. Are you just describing this room? <laughs> of course not. Unless this room is also occupied by a demon troll lizard. It's not. That confirms it. This is a totally different room. The troll lizard hits you for 40,000 hit points. Wait, I'm wearing an elven cloak of ultimate protection. You forgot to declare you were wearing it at the beginning of the game. I don't have to declare what I'm wearing. Dupe didn't declare that his character was wearing pants. Are you wearing pants? No, sir. I am not. <laughs> You're playing this all wrong. You didn't even roll any dice. Of course I did. See? These aren't dice. They're marbles. <laughs> or as I call them, infinity dice. Ooh. Don't ooh that, it's not a real thing. He's ruining the game and I won't stand for it. Oh, would you prefer to lay down? I'll roll for it. <laughs> Critical miss, you fall on your butt. Minus 100,000 hit points. You are not very good at this game. <laughs> I finished my report. Although, thanks to a certain someone, it now reads less like an entomology report and more like the insect obituaries. I was going to make us a bedtime snack. Do either of you know where the bowl of marshmallows went? Oh, I put them in a pillowcase and then smashed the pillowcase against a tree a bunch of times before tossing it in the garbage. Why on earth would you do that? Because I thought they were puffy white caterpillars and I couldn't find my bug spray. Well, I guess girls' night is over. 
Lori, time for bed. We need to be up early for the photo shoot. Photo shoot? Suddenly this night isn't the complete disaster I thought it was. Do you smell smoke? Oh, no, your report. No problem. I have a fire extinguisher. Be careful. That's important research. <laughs> Whoops. Wrong canister. <laughs> On the plus side, I found the bug spray. <laughs> sweetie we'll get it done even if we have to stay up all night oh are you sure you want to do that you know how you get those puffy eyes when you don't get enough sleep <laughs>
roughing it. Am I right? You ladies know what I'm talking about. Almost ready. I'm sorry, sweetie. I know this isn't how you imagined this going. Oh, well. Fame and fortune is overrated. At least we're all together as a family. Mm. Wait, where's Luke? Yeah. Never mind. He's a cartoon. I'll just draw him in later. <laughs> Smile, everyone. Okay, let's try that again. Smile, everyone. Just take the picture! <laughs> Sure you want to go on? We can't stop now. We've just started down the tunnel of endless adventures. Fine. You turn a corner and discover a door with a sign that reads the end. I retrace my steps. You can't. The wall is closed in behind you, and you hear an announcement over the loudspeaker that the labyrinths will be closing in five minutes. I head back to the crypts. They stay open an hour later on the weekends. That's it. We need to get you a girlfriend. I just had the strangest dream. I was having a warm soak in the Elven Hot Springs and... Never mind. <laughs> 